art has been my whole life, but I might, as I get older, try teaching and seeing if, you know, I can inspire other people. My name is Nacho L. Garcia, Jr. Actually, Nacho is a shortened form of Ignacio. Ignacio is my, my real name, Ignacio Garcia. But people tend to make nicknames like Bob to Robert, and so they started calling me Nacho. So I started signing my drawings with Nacho L. Garcia, Jr. I was born and raised in El Paso, Texas. In fact, I was born at Hotel Dew Hospital, which doesn't exist anymore. I tore the building down. My dad uh, was a World War II veteran. He, uh, he was in the, uh, a waste gunner on the B-17, the Flying Fortress. And right after the World War II, he came home and he joined the police force. And he, he turned to the police force because he, he comes from a background of uh, law enforcement. His father was the police, his grandfather, and uh, so he, it was like an easy thing to turn to because that, that was in his family. And then, then my, my mom was, uh, was an artist and photographer, and uh, she helped run the Achilles studio during World War II when Achilles Gonzalez was in, in the war. And then when I started to come along, she gave up all that art and photography and stuff. Just became a housewife and raised five kids. Okay, my wife uh, was a Bel Air graduate, born and raised here in El Paso. And uh, she was, a, for a short time, she was a teacher's aide and then got into merchandising. And then uh, again, became a housewife. And we had a son and a daughter that we raised. Uh, well, I went to grade schools here, Clarity, Henderson, and I went to Burgess High, graduated. And then I went to UTEP. The first year I went, it was Texas Western in 65, 66. The next year, after they won the NCAA, Texas Western became UTEP. And then I continued and finished and graduated in 71 with a BA, a Bachelor of Fine Arts. I've always liked to draw since I was a little little boy. My mom, being an artist, uh, gave me little hints and stuff like that. And I took art throughout school. And then uh, when I got into high school, uh, I somebody recommended uh, what they call a famous artist course. It's a correspondence mail course. I took that. It's a three-year course, associate's degree in commercial illustration. Along, and then I got I went ahead and got my bachelor of fine arts at UTEP. But I picked up art, actually doing the art, drawing, stuff like that, since I was a little small. Uh, I, while going to UTEP part-time, I used to go downtown, and there was a department store where I did advertising layout, pencil layouts. Then I got into the newspaper, again, still going part-time, and I did, at that time, there were no computers, so everything was pencil layout, keyed in, typed, and copy was set by a composing room. And we had proofs that we sh would show to customers. So I was there doing layouts and design. And then after I got married, graduated and got married, I was uh, recruited by an uh, advertising agency where, again, I did design, pencil layouts, storyboards. And I was in advertising for several companies, uh, Cashway, and then uh, Tony Lama, and then... Uh, Oh, in 1990, I moved, I went on my own and did a lot of freelance for several agencies here in town. And then the newspaper had a, a little advertising for anyone to submit an editorial cartoon. And I submitted one and they liked it. And they asked for it every week. And then they uh, finally said, hey, we got an opening, come on over. And I joined the newspaper again one more time and worked there for about 17 years and then retired. And uh, I'm doing freelance again and, you know, commission work here and there. Okay, the gecko was, when I was working at the newspaper, uh, this guy came up with an idea. He said, why don't you put a little figure, a little creature in your drawing, make it your alter ego. In other words, you could do wisecracks and all that. And so I said, okay. And at that time, uh, some agency approached El Paso and wanted to promote and use 
a gecko wearing sunglasses as their icon instead of the Amigo Man. I don't think it worked. But to be facetious, I did a little drawing of a little gecko. This is before Geico came up with it. And a lot of people think I copied Geico, but this was like uh, four or five years before Geico came up. This was in 96. I did a little gecko with sunglasses. He would hold a sign with a little remark, a short little thing. And it caught on. Everybody was looking. In fact, when I do commission cartoons or caricatures, or what, they always ask, hey, can you put that Geico in there? And when I do that. So it was my little alter ego. I liked, I, I like to do a lot of pen and ink, pastel, charcoal, and uh, some fast, loose acrylic wash type drawings. But most of the time, I, I like to do pen and ink and charcoal. It's quicker, faster. And I, I, I mean, it's, I, I like, that's, it's something that I, I guess developed through the years and feel comfortable doing. My favorite type of art is actually pen and ink or charcoal. Pen and ink, to me, it's, it's kind of like uh, medicinal to me. It's soothing. I could fill a drawing with pen and ink, cross hatching, and just develop it little by little, take my time. Or in charcoal, I can do a quick portrait sketch, it, have it done in 15, 20 minutes, and then spray with fixative. But pen and ink seems to be my most favorite type of art. To me, art is a, a form of self-expression. You know, like everybody, everybody has an idea they want to inject anywhere. And you can do it, you can write, or you can draw it. And when I have ideas flowing in and out, I, I have a notebook that I keep next to me, and I jot down a quick sketch or a thumbnail of a funny idea or something, and I can develop it later on. Because, you know, ideas are fleeting. They go in and out. And if you don't write down at that moment, you'll forget it. And to me, I have notebooks with little thumbnails and doodles that I can develop later on as a drawing or something, and that helps. I've been inspired by, well, the famous artists, Goya, Daumier, Velasquez. I like those guys. But more contemporary, there's a, an artist, and I don't know, he's pretty old now, Charles Bragg, B-R-A-G-G. -G. He, he combines painting with faces, unusual old faces, and he says that, and he's a real humorous guy, and I think he's got a saying that says, God has got to have a sense of humor. Look at the faces he's put on us. And he does caricatures and makes fun of of dignitaries and politicians, and that's what I like to do. And uh, Charles Bragg was one guy. I, I have a couple of books of his books. And he, I think he's out of California, and he's pretty old now. I don't know if he's still kicking. But he's the guy that inspired me the most. Um, I guess uh, you could describe my technique as a um, semi-realistic, satirical caricature um, renderings what I'm trying to do is if I can show motion to show motion in a drawing is to me a, a, a challenge because everything is so still and frozen and and I'm trying to uh, develop a style where you can see bodies in motion and faces and, and to me that would be something to achieve if I could